I am Pat from Pat's Path Predictor. And this video, we're going to be taking a look at that nor'easter that hit New York City and Boston. So as you can see right here, there is a radar loop right here. We'll uh, go ahead and talk about that in just a second when it goes back, when it resets. So there it is. It starts to ramp up near New York City. Boston gets a lot of heavy snow right here. So let's go ahead and take a deep dive on how much snow everybody got, as well as uh, the, the, the fact that New York City didn't really cancel any of their schools. So let's talk about that first. Let's go to New York City. So this is the, in the Bronx right here where uh, they New York City got a huge abundance of snow. Central Park, five and a half inches of snow. That is a good, that's quite a lot for you guys. But it's not a, it's not nearly a record, but it is quite a bit for you. I would love five and a half inches of snow right now, quite honestly. I'd take that. But anyway, in the Bronx, or in, the range is between seven and eight inches, basically, between, uh, in East Vermont, uh, eight inches of snow fell. Park Chester, 7.1. Uh, East uh, one uh, W East Termont uh, seven point one uh, two uh, South uh, S Co op uh, City uh, six point seven so about seven to eight inches right there. Dutchess County uh, is a bit lower about half an inch to three and a half inches depending on where you are. So this is Kings County right here in New York uh, in New York Nassau County on Long Island. We'll go to Kings County first. An inch range between six and seven inches, so quite a lot for you guys right there if you're living in Kings County. Nassau County, the range here, it's a bit larger. It's between seven and uh, seven to nine inches, but it, it's still a good amount of snow for you guys, nevertheless, in Glen Cove, 9.3. That's the highest right here. They go by, they go by the peak uh, in highest to lowest right here. Uh, one, uh, one North uh, uh, Soy Set. Uh, oh, Siosa, excuse me. Yeah, 8.9, 8.3, and right here, Elmont, 8.2, East Will uh, Williston, 8 inches. That's quite a lot of snow for you guys, so perfect sledding weather right there. Uh, Levi, uh, Levi, uh, Levi Town, uh, 8 inches right there, and same in Plainview. Uh, Merrick, 7.7, 7.6 in Plainville, 7.5 in Lindo Beach. So the range isn't particularly very large, but it's it's still a very good amount of snow for you guys, nevertheless. So I thought I'd just point that out to everybody. Seven and a half in Lindo Beach and Oyster Bay. 7.1 uh, 7 inches in uh, Jericho, so that's pretty interesting. And if you're living in this, these areas and I mispronounce any, uh, any of these names, please excuse me. I am not from New York, so... Yeah, so seven inches in uh, right here in uh, Massapeka and East Meadow, uh, six point seven in north uh, one north northeast uh, Massapeka. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's a good amount of snow for you guys. Perfect for sledding. If there's any hills around you, perfect for sledding. If the snow's wet enough, perfect for snowball fights and everything. Perfect to build those forts in New York County itself and uh, down in Manhattan. Uh, it's generally uh, uh, five to six inches. Uh, Midtown Manhattan got six inches. Uh, the rest got 5.5. Central Park, there it is right there, 5.5 inches of snow. If you ever watched Elf and you, know, you saw that scene with the snowball fight and everything, yeah, it might be enough snow to help you with that. So just thought I'd uh, do that. Orange County, not in California, but in New York, uh, three and a half to three to three and a half inches of snow is what you got uh, put, uh, uh, Put uh, Putnam County, uh, three inches, so not terrible. Queens County, look at the range. It's between it's between five to eight inches of snow right here, so that's a good a uh, good range right here. New York City, Laguardia, Laguardia Airport report is eight point four inches of snow, seven point seven in Bayside, uh, in Elmhurst, seven point five, Bay, uh, South Southwest Bayside, uh, seven point three. Howard Beach, 7 inches, Jackson Heights, 6.8, 6.5, in uh, 1 Northwest Elmhurst, 6 inches in El uh, Elmhurst uh, itself, Howard Beach, 6.8, uh, sorry, 5.8, uh, 5.5 uh, 5 for the rest of them, and John F. Kennedy Airport, poured 5.5 inches of snow. Yeah, thousands of flights got canceled throughout the Northeast because of the bad weather, so yeah, that's also something that happened with that as well, as well, we'll go ahead and skip a couple of these. We'll go to Suffolk County, 
uh, which is on, uh, which I believe is on uh, Long Island. So the range here, generally five to nine inches right here. So here it is, about eight inches in Comac St. James, uh, right in that area, Smithton 7.2, um, Babylon six inches of snow. So a good amount of snow no matter what. You guys could uh, definitely pull out the sled and go sled go sledding since it is Saturday today, so that's pretty good. Two inches of snow fell in Sullivan County. Uh, Winchester, range between four to eight inches of snow. That's a pretty good range right there. We're not going through all these counties right here. We're basically going, basically going through the New York uh, metro area as well as in Boston as well. So 3.8 right here, that's uh, three to uh, four to eight inches, 7.8 in Port Chester, 3.8 in uh, Montrose. So there it is, Atlantic County in New Jersey. This will, uh, this is basically the, where I'm gonna stop right here in Atlantic County. Five point of uh, basically three to six inches is what you guys got with the most in Northfield and the least in the, uh, Hamilton or whatever. I'm sorry if I keep pronouncing your name, uh, the, the name of your city's wrong. I'm not from that area, so I apologize. Now, let's go ahead and move on to Boston, where things got quite a bit uh, more chaotic in the Boston area. They actually closed down school and everything uh, because of the snowstorm. Take a look at this. 15.2 inches just outside of Boston, uh, near, Milt uh, near Milton, Massachusetts. Only 5 inches of snow fell in Boston, but take a look at its suburbs. 9.5 uh, 9.5 here, 7 uh, in, uh, inches in, uh, in Somerville, 9.8 in Chelsea, 11.2. Look at this, 12 inches of snow in Winthrop, Massachusetts right there. So that's a pretty good amount of snow right there, 13 inches near Quincy uh, right there. And you can really go ahead at further west into Massachusetts, about 5 inches of snow fell in Worcester, 9 inches uh, in Spencer. So... Yeah, Mass Eastern Massachusetts got a good amount of snow right there. Even into Rhode Island, uh, a foot of snow fe uh, fell in near Bur uh, Burleyville, uh, Bur uh, uh, Burleville, excuse me, uh, 11.9 North Summerfield. So, yeah, you guys enjoy that. You guys enjoy that snow. I wish I was up there to, uh, I was up there to enjoy that, enjoy that, man. I, I really would lo uh, love a foot of snow right now, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But anyway, last thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and talk about the latest run of the GFS model because there are a couple of areas in, of interest that I'm keeping an eye on even though they're a little bit out. So let's go ahead and move through it. As you can see, there it is. Keep going. All right, this is about it right here. Yeah, the snowstorm starting on January 17th. The model has it going up as a nor'easter right here becoming a nor'easter rather so yeah right here it's thousand right here expecting some heavy snow in north carolina and virginia right here into the dc area again so that's an interesting development very heavy snow in new jersey so and into connecticut so yeah nor'easter potentially yeah that, yeah nor'easter moving through there that's pretty interesting right there so i thought i'd show that to you that's going to wrap up the video be sure to leave a like, a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. And with that being said, have a wonderful day, everybody. Stay safe.